Hello friends here, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we have this interesting question, which is x is equal to the square root of 8 over root x. Now, the first thing we'll do is to apply square to both sides. Now, the reason for that is to get rid of the square root. So, we'll square both sides. I'm going to have x squared is equal to what? 8 over x with the square root and then all squared. So notice the square will cancel the square root, and I have x squared is equal to what? 8 over x. So if I write, I can do one of two things. I can decide to multiply both sides by x or cross multiply. Let me just cross multiply. So I'm going to have x times x squared, which is what? x cubed. This is equal to 1 times 8 is 8. So I'll move 8 to the left-hand side. I'm going to have x cubed minus 8 is equal to 0. What is this x cubed? 8 can be expressed as what? 2 cubed. So I'm going to have the difference of 2 cubed. And this will just help us in getting the value or the values of x. So x cubed here and then minus what? 2 cubed. 2 cubed is 8 because 2 times 2 is 4. And 4 times 2 is what? 8. So this is equal to 0. Now from that algebraic identities, if you have a cubed minus b cubed, this can be factorized to a minus b. And then what? a squared plus ab plus b squared. If you expand this, it will simplify to what? a cubed minus b cubed. So that's what I'm going to do with what? x cubed minus 2 cubed. So x cubed minus 2 cubed will be equal to what? See, this a minus b. So that's x minus 2. And then I'm going to have x squared plus what? 2x plus 2 squared. All is equal to what? 0. So what do we have? We have x minus 2 here. And then what? All of this. Let me simplify this just a little bit further. x squared plus 2x. 2 squared is what? 4. And all is equal to 0. From zero product rule, x minus 2 is equal to 0. Or x squared plus 2x plus 4 is equal to 0. So you set this to 0 or this to 0. Now, this first one is easy because all I have to do is just transpose negative 2 to the right-hand side. So I'm going to have that x is equal to 2. What about this quadratic equation? Let me just grab it and write it under. Then we now get the values of x. So looking at this, it cannot be factorized because even if you pick 2 and 2, which we multiply to give 4, 2 times 2 is 4. But when you add this 2, you are not going to get 2 here. So we cannot factorize. Even if you decide to use 4 and 1, 4 times 1 is 4, quite all right. But when you add 4 to 1, you will not get 2. So it cannot be factorized. Now, I know you are familiar with the use of the quadratic formula, but I'm going to be using the completing the square method here. So the first thing I'll do is to get rid of this plus 4. I will do that by subtracting 4 from both sides. So I have x squared plus 2x plus 4 minus 4 is 0. So this is equal to what? Negative 4. It's called completing the square for a reason. This is not a perfect square quadratic expression. So I had to remove the constant term. And now I will now add another constant term that will make the expression a perfect square. So this is what you do simply. You look at the coefficient of this here. You divide it by 2 and then you square it. If you square it, add it to this expression. If you do so, you would have completed the square and you'd have made this expression a perfect square. Let me say that again. Look at this, square, this coefficient here of 2 divided by 2, then you square it. That's simply what you do. So what's this? It's going to be what? x squared plus 2x. If you divide 2 by 2, you are going to get what? 1, but you have to square it, even though it changes nothing. Now, because I have added this here, I must do the same thing to what? The right-hand side. 
for balance. Now, it's easy to factorize this. All you have to do, don't even stress yourself, pick the first term without the square and the last term, which is a constant term without the square, put it in a bracket and then you square it. You square the bracket. Here's what I mean. You write x plus this one here, then you square it. That's what you do, basically. So this is minus 4 plus 1. 1 squared is what? 1. If you expand this, you are going to get this expression back. So x plus 1 all squared is equal to minus 4 plus 1 is minus what? 3. I am now going to square root both sides to get rid of the square here. So let's square root both sides. And then this square root will cancel this square. I'm going to have x plus 1 is equal to what? Plus or minus the square root of what? Negative 3. There should be plus or minus here as well. So I'm going to move plus 1 to the right-hand side. And then I'm going to have x is equal to negative 1 plus or minus the square root of what? Negative 3. You see that now? But look at this right here. This is an imaginary number. Why? Because we have a negative number in a radical. So it's going to produce an imaginary number. This is what you are going to do. I is equal to, which is the imaginary unit of an imaginary number, is equal to what? The square root of negative 1. So I'm going to rewrite this like, so just watch, x is equal to minus 1 plus or minus. You know, this negative 3 can be written like this, negative 3, sorry can be written like this, 3 times negative 1. I'm choosing to do it like this because I want to bring in the imaginary word units. Okay, let's do that. So I'll write x is equal to negative 1 plus or minus. Let's distribute this square root to the both numbers. So root 3 times what? Root negative 1. And I did say that what? The imaginary unit i is equal to what? The square root of what? Negative 1. So here I'm going to replace this and put i there. So x is equal to negative 1 plus or minus root 3i or i root 3. The i is coming from here. So it means that x is equal to minus 1 plus i root 3 or minus 1 minus i root 3. And we also have that x is equal to what? So let me just write the real number first. Remember, we also had that x is equal to what? 2. So x is equal to 2, negative 1 plus i root 3, or negative 1 minus i root 3. If you found this video helpful, kindly like, share this video with your friends and family, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. If you want to see more of the videos from this channel, I hope to see you in the next video. It's bye for now.